Welcome to Move Us Go News. I'm your anchor, Solaris. And I'm your anchor, Vivian. Now for the joke of the day with Mr. Herb. Good morning, Woodville. Mr. Herb here, and it is Friday, and that usually means we have the Teacher of the Week. But <laughs> Miss uh, Stevenson, who was Teacher of the Week, is not available to do our joke today. So instead, we have our brand new guidance counselor, Miss Crumholtz, yes. um, with us. You kids can all call her Miss K. I think that's 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 an easy one to remember. Um, and she is going to tell us the joke of the day. So, what do you got for us? All right. Why didn't the skeleton go to prom? Mm, I don't know. Why didn't he go? He didn't have a body, anybody to go with. <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense. I mean, you gotta you gotta have something. You can't just go in your bones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Kids, you'll be seeing a lot more of Miss K around campus. She is taking the place of Miss Rackley, who has moved on to some things. And we are very pleased to have you here. So welcome aboard thank to Woodville. You. And she'll see you around campus. And now we're all going to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and our moment of reflection. All right. Have a good day. Good morning. Today is Friday, October 7th. Remember that the book fair starts on Monday, so save up your pennies. Stay in history. On this day in the year 1916, in the most loop-sided victory in American college football, Georgia Tech's Tech defeats Cumberland University 222-0. Wow. Today's lunch, choice of brunch for lunch or fish and grits, along with green beans, tater tots, and assorted fruit and juice. Please remember that these items may change. Today's birthday. Today we have one Woodville birthday. Let's all wish happy birthday to Aaliyah Marks in seventh grade. Now for the weather. Today will be mostly sunny, high 89. This weekend will be mostly sunny with highs in the upper 80s. Fun fact of the day, did you know that Abraham Ham Lincoln, who was famously tall at 6'4", was also a successful competitive wrestler? A very interesting fun fact. That's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you around campus. And we'll campus. see you around campus.